Amen. Amen. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good. What a year. Amen. What a year. We don't count the power what the enemy did. We count we ca we count our blessing. If you are blessed, shout a big hallelujah. Because I know people that started January, they are no longer here. Some of them are even pastors that ministers at the altar, but they are dead. It is by grace that you are here. So I want you to just begin to thank the Lord just one minute, just for each month. And as you remember what happened to you in January, the blessing, not the attack of the enemy. I want you to just begin to thank the Lord. So let's begin to thank the Lord for January right now. Just thank him where you are seated right now. Just thank him for January. He was so good to you in January. He was perfect. He was the most excellent God, the most glorious Father. He was so good to you. He was good to your family. He was good everything in the beginning of the year. The beginning of this year, or the month of January. You didn't know what was going to happen to you. But by the special grace of God, the Lord was with you. His mercy, His kindness, He was kind to you. He surrounded your family. He was there with you. From the beginning of the year, you didn't know what October was going to look like, but the Lord held your hand. He was holding your hand in the beginning of this year. All your prayer that you prayed in January, the Lord answered. What a good God. He was an awesome God. Just an awesome God. He was so good to you in January. Just thank him. Thank him for January. Thank him for what he did. Because if you don't show appreciation, wh why will he do another thing for you this January? If you cannot thank him about last January, just thank him for January. He was good. The beginning of the year, so much expectation. The Lord did not destroy you. He did not allow the plan of the wicked to swallow you in January. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Yeah, you might feel some issue, but the Lord was there. He was faithful. Blessed be his name forever. We thank the Lord for January. Blessed be your name, O Lord our God. We give you glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Jesus, for the month of January. Blessed be your name. I think the eat is too much. It's off. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, begin to thank the Lord for February. Thank him for February. Just say, Lord, I, I thank you for February. I thank you for what you did for me in February. You are so good to me in February. You did not allow any form of evil to happen to me in February. You are a shield, my protection. You are there for me in the month of February. You did not allow evil to befall me and my family. Father, I bless you. Father, I thank you. Father, I worship you. Father, I honor you. Father, I give you praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. Thank you for February. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are a rock that cannot be moved by any circumstances in February. I thank you. I worship you. I honor you. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for all that you did. My Lord, glory be to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's begin to thank the Lord for March. Just come on, thank him for March. Father, I thank you for everything that you did in March. Going in and coming out. My Lord and my Savior. Many people died in the month of March. You did not allow that to happen to me. You are a shield. You are a protector for me. You are my Lord. You are my King. You are my Savior. You are my Redeemer. You are the Prince of Glory. You are the one that channels the course of my life. I thank you. I thank you. Come on, let's thank the Lord for April. Thanks him for April. Father, I thank you. I thank you for April. You are right there with me. Father, in April, you did not allow me to fall. You did not allow evil to befall me. 
you are right there with me. You are my shield. You are my protector. You are my guide. You are there constantly protecting and guiding me in the month of April. Father, I give you praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. I give you all the adoration. I said unto you be the glory. Unto you be the honor. I just want to say thank you. Father, I thank you for the month of May. For the month of May. I thank you for May. I thank you for May. My Lord, you are great in May. You were there with us. Father, you came home with us. You are there with us. You are our shield, our protector, our redeemer, our awesome father, our powerful father, our glorious father. Father, we thank you. Father, for the month of June, you are a good God in June. You are a merciful God in June. You are a glorious God in June. You are powerful in the month of June. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. What a great God you are. What a marvelous God you are. What a kind God you are. My God, for the month of July, we thank you. For July, we thank you. We thank you for July. 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 Father, thank you for what you did in July. We bless you for July. We adore you for July. We set out for your bed and look. For the month of July. For the month of August. We thank you for August. We thank you for August. We thank you for the month of August. We say bless and be your name. they die they have an accident hallelujah the lord kept you some headache that you have is the same headache that somebody else have and the, the blood went into their head and they die you are here you don't have stroke you are you don't have any evil thing happening to you you can use the bathroom by yourself you oh god decide to be worshiped come on i ah, thank him just thank him just thank him for your family thank you my lord thank you Father, I thank you so much. You have done so much. 
find a place to sit. Amen. Hallelujah. We just want to give a God a clap offering for what he has done for us. Come on, give the Lord a clap offering. Come on, come on, give him a clap offering. 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 He's a good God. A great and a mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The year has been good. No matter what the enemy planned, the year was good. Amen? Amen. But next year is going to be much, much better than this year. If they believe your next year will be better, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesterday is gone. In the next few minutes, Today is over. We are looking forward to 2017. Amen. When I've been praying and waiting on the Lord for many days to see what does the Lord have for us for 2017. And I want to talk about that to lay the foundation of 2017 before we get there. He said, the year of no limitation. Amen. Amen. Say to somebody, no limitation. No limitation. What does that mean? It means that everything that is no limitation means that nothing can stop you. Amen? Nothing can stop you. Whatever it is in your heart that you want to achieve, you will achieve it in Jesus' name. Last week, uh, last two weeks, I said, God, the I am that I am, have sent us. How many people wrote who you are on a paper. Raise up your hand. Before we get to 2017, I want you to write who you are because it's prophetic. Amen? It is prophetic. You can get a paper from somebody. He said, the I am. God said, I am the I am that I am. You are favor. Say, I am favor. I am the head. I'm not the tail. I'm anointed. I am, I am rich. I am, I am above. I am not below. I am, below. I am promoted. I am and everything that you are, write it down. Because that is what you are going to proclaim towards 2017. And you keep it to you keep repeating it, repeating it, and the Holy Spirit will accept it from you. Amen. You are not a failure. Amen. That is why God is saying it is the year. Of no limit. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Now, when you are talking about no limit, that means that you don't refer to 2016 anymore. Amen? All the failure, all the unachievement, whatever happened to 2016, 
buried in 2016. You can reflect on it, but you don't allow it to rule you in 2017. Am I talking to somebody? In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, if they can just put it up quickly, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Are we there? Is it up? Now, let's read it together. One, two, three. So tell somebody, the hold is gone forever. 2016 is gone. All the demons of 2016, they are gone. All the difficulties of 2016, they are gone. They are not coming back. I am looking forward to 2017. A new beginning. A new beginning. The new has come. The new me has come. The new me has come. The new me has come. Hallelujah. Then if you believe your new has come, shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Remember, you are going in the name of the I am and I am. Hallelujah. When the I am that I am appear to Gideon. Gideon said, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and he said, you mighty man of valor. Which means a strong man. Gideon said, I know. Gideon was hiding somewhere. When the, when the angel of the Lord appeared to him, he said, hey, me a man of valor. No, I am hiding here. From, you know, uh, hey, so that the enemy will not capture me. The Lord said, it is in your hand I will deliver Israel. Amen? And Gideon threw his hand of 300 Foolish people that went to the lake and was drinking water, not even with their hand, but with their tongue. They were licking water like this. Through those foolish people, God delivered the nation of Israel. So it doesn't matter how smart you think you are. It doesn't matter how foolish you think you are. God can use you to a mighty level. Amen? It doesn't matter how much failure you experienced in 2016. As long as the I am that I am is in front of you, everything that you want, you can get it in 2017. Amen. That is why I don't want you to reflect. If you continue to reflect on the failure of 2016, you will not be able to achieve anything in 2017. Hallelujah, are you with me? 2016 is gone. Say bye-bye, 2016. Bye. You are not coming back again. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, when God appeared to Moses in a burning bush, Moses was just a shepherd. He was not a warrior. He was not a leader of anything. He was just leading sheep. And the spirit of the Lord appeared to him. And Moses said, me, I can't talk. I can't talk. I stammer when I talk. But even through his stammering, Jehovah the God of heaven, the one who said to him, I am the I am that I am. And Moses and Moses was able to perform many miracles in the name of the I am that I am. Say so this 2017, I will perform many miracles. Signs and wonders shall follow me. Tell somebody beside you, it doesn't matter who you are. It, what matter is what God wants to do with you. Forget 2016. It is a new beginning. A new day. A new year. A new month. A new hour. In Jesus name. I will achieve. Say I will achieve. Say I will achieve. I say I say I will achieve. Say I will achieve. Say I will achieve. Say I will achieve. Say how we achieve! Say how we achieve! Hallelujah! It doesn't matter 
If last 2016 you were a shepherd, it doesn't matter that nobody knows your name. It doesn't matter nobody recognizes you. It doesn't matter how many failures came into your home. It doesn't matter how many difficulties you face. That is gone. It is gone. It is gone. Hallelujah. It is gone. The sickness is gone. The disease is gone. The shame is gone. The poverty is gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same Moses, when he got to the Red Sea and he looked at the Red Sea, he looked at the problem. He looked at the problem. He started praying. He started, hey, this Red Sea. God said, why are you wasting time? Carry the rod in your hand. Hallelujah. The rod in your hand. And spread it towards the Red Sea. And the Red Sea opened. This year, the rod of God in your hand shall open all the Red Sea. I said the word of God shall open all the Red Sea. I said when you lift up the word of God this year, when you lift it up, the impossible shall become possibility. I said it shall become possibility. Because you are not going by yourself. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The power of Jehovah is upon you. I said every Red Sea shall be opened before you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When Isaiah was praying, Oh, the Lord said, I am here. And I am going to do mighty things for you this year. He said, the barren will be with children this year. Amen. Difficulties that you have been facing, I will roll them away this year. Amen. A new beginning shall start for you. A new beginning shall start for you. Thou shalt have plentiful, abundant, 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 abundant blessing shall be your portion. You shall be fruitful. You shall multiply. You shall multiply. You shall enlarge. You shall enlarge to the front. You shall enlarge to the back. You shall enlarge every area of your life. The Lord will enlarge your coast in Jesus' name. Now, Jeremiah, when the Lord saw him, he said, I'm only a child. What can I do? But the Lord said, from the womb, I knew thee. Say, from the womb, the Lord knows me. The pattern of my life is in the hands of the Lord. Your destiny is not in the hands of a man. Satan can use people to try to shake you. They can only shake you, but they cannot kill you. If they can kill you, you will not be here today. They just shake you. The Lord allow you to experience some tiny, tiny difficulties. But the rest, the Lord has taken care of it. That's one that has kept you this far. This far, he will never forsake you. He will make sure you get to your place of destiny in Jesus' name. Nobody can take away what the Lord has given you because he is the one that knows your beginning. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. No. Because the name of the one who called you is wonderful. You are not a Christian by mistake. Every attack, every difficulties that you went through in 2016 is to elevate you to a higher position in 2017. Are you with me? Because without sowing, you cannot reap. Without going through certain tunnel, you cannot see the light. Amen. So everything the Lord allowed to happen to you in 2016 is for you to have a bigger testimony in 2017. How many people here are going to have a big testimony in 2017? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your 2017 is going to be far, far greater than your 2016. Because why? Affliction will not repeat itself again a second time. Amen? 
The affliction of 2016 will never repeat itself in 2017. Say amen to that. I said a bigger amen. I said a bigger amen. You are 2017. There shall not be any affliction in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. No affliction whatsoever in the mighty name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 14. Please go there. Matthew chapter 14, verse 24. Matthew 14, 24. Matthew chapter 14, verse 24. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 14, verse 24. Is everybody there? This is a very important scripture. This scripture, I know you know it, you've read it, but I want you to hold this scripture. This is our scripture for this year that the Lord gave us. This is the scripture that the Lord gave us for this year. And what you do with this scripture this year will determine how far you will go. I mean, I'm talking when I mean this year, I'm already close to 2017. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about 2016 anymore. I am talking about 2017. Amen? Amen. This is the scripture the Lord is giving us for 2017. Amen? And this scripture will explain so many things about your life for you. Amen? In this 2017, I have been praying for one month. Before the Lord gave me the scripture. Because I wanted our life to change. I wanted something to break. And I wanted to find out from the Lord. Lord, how can we move to the next level? How can there be a wealth exchange? Say, I am tired of being poor. I'm tired of being sick. I am tired of managing. And that is what I have been carrying to the Lord. How can we move to the next level? What can we do to move to the next level? Amen? Amen. Please, everybody, if you don't have your Bible, you can look at 24. I'm going to read it. Amen? Amen. Matthew chapter 24. Amen? Chapter 24. To, uh, sorry, Matthew chapter 14, verse 24 to verse 32. I'm going to read it. I want you to pay attention. Amen? Amen. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with wave, for the wind was contrary. Amen? Uh, let me see which translation. Okay, they are doing NIV. I can do NIV too, just one minute. Amen. And the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the wave because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. He's a ghost. A ghost. They were afraid. They saw a ghost. Amen. They saw a ghost. They said, they cry out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I. Say it is I. It is I. Say it is I. It is I. Don't, be Don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? Amen. 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 As you are here this evening, 
Many of you here have had dreams, have had vision, have had everything, because when you are a believer, the Lord wants to talk to you more than you even want to talk to him. He has revealed so many secrets about your life to you. But why? You of little faith. You always doubt. Because we see, by we believe by what we see. We don't believe what we cannot see. But in order for you to receive from the Lord, you must believe what you cannot see. Amen? You have to, somebody sat down to make this iPad. This person who was designing this iPad, in his head said, I am going to sell, I am going to, if this thing works, I am going to sell 10 million of it. One has not been sold yet. But in the mind here, he said, I am going to sell 10 million of it. Amen? While he was still drawing it. Because why? He released his faith. Guess what? Even the person who designed this may not be a believer. But there is something in the atmosphere, in the spirit. According to your faith, it will be done for you. What you release is what you will become. As he's saying that in his heart, I am going to make this thing work. And I'm going to send 10 millions of it. The spirit around is saying, yes, he's designing it. And he's going to sell 10 million. Far out reach. 10 million that they have sold on iPad. If you have to Google how many iPad have been sold worldwide, it's beyond the imagination. Amen. When I was asking the Lord, why is it that believers are poor, Lord? Why is it that we face so many difficulties? The Lord said, we lack understanding. Says to somebody, you lack understanding. And we are too fearful. Amen? We doubt his power. We doubt the power of God and we lack understanding. When Solomon went to God in prayer and God asked Solomon, what do you want? He said, give me understanding. Amen? Understanding. How to govern these people. And then the Lord answered him, I will give you wisdom. And I will give you everything else. He did not ask God to give him wisdom. He asked God for understanding. When you have understanding, you have everything. Why? When you have understanding, whatever God has given you, you'll be able to turn it around for good. Amen? Lack of understanding is trying to refer to all the evil things that have happened to you in the past. Are you with me? Those things are gone. Those things can never come back again. Amen? But when you have understanding, you always work by today. You work by today and the future belongs to God. Tomorrow belongs to God. If you are going to carry what happened to you in 2016 to 2017, the spirit of failure in 2016 is going to suck you back. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Now, when Peter was in the boat, the Lord knew the storm. He was on the other side. He watched them as the storm was brewing. Amen? The Lord was watching them. Where the Lord was, he can just speak to the storm and say, stop, he will stop. But the Lord watched them. Are you with me? Is somebody getting me today? The Lord watched them to see how they will react. Amen? Are you with me? And then... It's not only Peter that was in the boat. All of them were in the boat. But Peter, when Jesus started walking towards them, if Jesus is walking towards you in 2016, how are you going to react? Am I talking to somebody today? How are you going to react? Are you going to allow the storm to just carry you? Now, as they were going, as the Lord was walking on the water towards them, they started getting afraid. It is the fear. The fear of the unknown. The fear of lack of risk. We don't want to take risk. Many of you over here should be business people making money. Remember before you came here to America. Remember the zeal. Am I talking to somebody here? Remember the zeal that you have. I'm going to America. I'm going to make it. And then you get here, you sit down. And you started managing. 
who said you have to manage? Are the people who are doing well here, are they better than you? Tell somebody, wake up. Tell somebody, wake up. Say, wake up. Say, remember before you came here. Remember before you came here. Before you came here, you thought in American street there were a tree full of money. Amen. Was that not so? The tree, the streets, the street is still filled up with money. Are, are you with me? The tree, don't make that mistake. America is a land of opportunity. And the street is still filled up with money. But some people are passing you by. Say, God, do not pass me by. Say, this year, 2017, I will wake up. Say, 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 I did not come to this country to be a failure. Because I am the head. Say, I am the head. Touch your head. Say, I am the head. Say, I am the head. I am not a tail. Hallelujah. Peter, out of all of them, 12 of them were in the boat. Only Peter said, when the Lord, when they were afraid and the Lord said, it's only me. Only Peter said, can I come? Tell somebody, can I come? Say, tell somebody, can I come? Tell somebody, can I come? When the Lord said, come, I want you to look at this. Do you remember the storm, the boat was able, about to capsize? What do you think was inside that boat? Water was inside. They were wet. But when Peter said, can I come? As soon as Peter, hey, hey, I am telling you, I said before you put your faith in 2017, it's according to your faith, that is what will happen to you. I said whatever is inside here, ah, in the next few minutes, as we begin to pray in 2017, whatever is in here that you release, that is what you will become. And that is what you must all do in 2017. Even when the storm is shaking, you must look at Jesus who is saying, come. Hallelujah. Who is saying, come. Who is saying, come. Hallelujah. Amen. When Peter, out of the 12, decided I'm coming out, the other 11, before Peter came out of the boat, the other 11 were already looking at the storm. Are you with me? They were already looking at the storm. If I come out, I'm going to sink. Ah, if I come out, I'm going to go down. If I come out, fish is going to swallow me. They were already giving all types of excuses. Ah, if I take that business, I'm going to fail. Amen? Amen. The other 11 have so many ideas. I, I tried it before. I tried business before. It didn't work. I'm a fisherman, no, but hey, I have seen shark. There are shark in the water. If I fall into the water, shark will swallow me. That's what the other eleven. You will not be one of the eleven. Amen. You will not be one of the eleven. Amen. You will not be one of the eleven. Amen. Let me tell you according to Peter's faith. Even though he has a little faith. Do you know as soon as he steps feet on the water, the water turns solid. Yeah. Are you with me? He was not walking on water. He was walking on ice. Solid water. That is how his face was straight to the Lord. Hallelujah. I said this year you will walk on solid ground. You will walk on solid ground. You will walk on solid ground. A place that has been prepared for you. Because on the other side is the Lord. The Lord is waiting on the other side. Tell somebody get out of that boat. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. Say get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. So get out of the boat. The Lord is on the other side. Until Peter started doubting. That is when he started going down. When your faith is strong, you will never go down. No matter how big the storm is, you will never go down. And immediately, the Lord just stopped the storm. You have Jesus who is ready to stop the storm for you. Tonight, tonight, when we cross over into 2017, hold the dreams that the Lord has been giving you. Hold 
not the blessing that you expect in 2017. You will get it. You will get it. You will get it. No matter what the storm is, the judge is on the other side. Because he will carry you. Hallelujah. No matter what happened, he will carry you. He will be in front of you. Hallelujah. 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 In Isaiah chapter 52, verse 12. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 12. Isaiah 52, verse 12. Let's all read it together, every one of us. In this, or go in fly. For the Lord will go before you. The God of Israel will be your rear guard. Who is going before you? Who is going to be at your rear hand? Please rise up on your feet. Amen? Amen. Now, 2017, I want you to tell the Lord now, I, Lord, I'm about to enter this 2017. I cannot enter by myself. I cannot do it by myself. I am asking you to go before me yes. and to be my rear guide. I must see December 31st, 2017. Amen. Amen. Amen? Now, come on, declare by faith. Come on, come on, talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord right now. Talk to the Lord right now. Talk to the Lord right now. That you will not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk to the Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk to the Lord. The 20. No, 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 no. Father, I cannot do it by myself. This is 27. Every one of us we will see the end of December 2017. The enemy will not swallow us. The storm will not carry us. The fire will not burn us. We will all say it together. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. My Lord and my Savior, come on. Together. My Lord, no evil will happen to us. 
is written in Nahum chapter 1, verse 9. Affliction will not repeat itself a second time. Now you are going to pray. 2016, all the affliction that I went through this year, I said in the name of Jesus, you will not repeat a second time. The blood of Jesus will walk you in Jesus' name. Come on, come on. poverty in my life this is the year of the end of sickness and disease in my life this is the end of weeping in my life and according to your faith it will be done for you come and open your mouth and begin to pray I say begin to pray begin to pray I say this is the end I say this is the end I say this is the end of affliction this is the end the Lord say cast a lot of all your burden upon the Lord for he cares for you I want you to tell him Lord Jesus I cast my body I cast my body my body my physical body I cast my soul I cast my spirit into your hand all my household everything concerning me I cast it. Come and begin to cast it. Your children, every situation in your life, cast it upon. Cast it upon. Cast it upon him. Cast it upon. Cast it upon him. Cast it upon him. Oh, the Alabaya Chokoroba. Noria Kalia Baya. Noria Kalia Bashida. Noria Kalia Baya. Noria Labashida. Noria Labia. I cast my soul. I cast off. I cast off. No love I shake up. No live I shake up. No love I shake up. No live I cast up. I cast off my body. No live I cast your chocolate of a shake up. Bend no love a coy and a machine. No live I have. Jesus said, say it is written concerning me. Mention your name. 
I want you to mention your name three times. Say it is written. Concerning. Mention your name now. Concerning Boke. Concerning Boke. Concerning Boke. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 11. In 2017, it will be given to me. Our seas filled with all kind of good things. All types of good things. The Lord will provide for me. Wall I did not dig. Vineyard and olive growth. I did not plan. I will eat and be satisfied. And be satisfied. And be satisfied. I say houses I do not build. Houses I do not build. Oh, Robo Shaka. Business I do not start. Business I do not start. I do not plant. The miracle of the Lord shall come my way in 2017. Come and raise up your voice and lift it up to the Lord. I say that it up.
God. Amen. It is a new year. It is a new beginning. You will reach to the highest level in Jesus' name. This is the year of no limit. No limitation. No limitation. You will achieve greatness this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, Elder Jacob, welcome from Ghana. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This year, the Almighty Father has promised many, many signs and wonders shall follow members of this church. Many, many great things shall happen to every one of us this year. No limits. No limit. We are going to change so many things with the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This year, yesterday is gone. Amen. Last year is gone. But this year is a new beginning. And we cannot do what we did last year. We must do these new things. New, 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 new. Amen. The Lord will give us understanding. We will have a clear understanding of where you are going. Amen. The Lord will give every one of us understanding. You will not make the same amount of salary you are making last year. Amen. This year you are going up. Amen. Say, I am going up. I'm going up. I am going up, 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 up. All the way up. Hallelujah. Look, the Lord will give you revelation. All you need is revelation. Amen. All you need is the Lord to give you understanding. Even from tonight, when you sleep, the Lord will pour a spirit upon you. He said, I will pour up my spirit upon all flesh. You will have dream, you will have vision. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will not be the same like it was in 2016. It will be better. If you did well in 2016, you are going to do better in 2017. Hallelujah. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. One of the things that have concerned me so much was the financial situation. Hallelujah. That has really been a very con a big concern for me. We need to move up. Amen? We need to move up. We cannot be managing, 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 managing. None of us came here to come and manage. There is everything that the Lord made is for a reason and for a purpose. The Lord brought us here for a reason and for a purpose. How many people came with the salt? Amen? This is actually, if you don't have we share, you just need a little bit. We have, you know, I mean, a big bottle, you can share it. Amen? Hallelujah. Is 
that this is the first time the Lord will ask us to do such a thing. Because it has been a concern for me. Amen? Amen. In fact, uh, I have a friend who... Okay. I have a friend who is into real estate. And she has a company that they sell houses. And she said now, the prices are going up, that even some houses they are bidding, four or five people are bidding to buy one house. Because there is, there, there is a, a lot of people looking for houses, people are doing well, and, but there is very little houses in the market. And she said to her surprise, not many Africans own their own homes. Say, I will own my home. I will own my own home. What, it's not by your power. Are you with me? It's not by your power or by your strength. It's by the spirit of the Lord. Amen? What you ask for is what God will do for you. If you are comfortable in the apartments where you are staying, God is not going to do something about it. But if you tell somebody, get off the boat. Get out of the boat. When you start going towards Jesus and you start telling Jesus, I want a house, God will give you a house. Amen. Hallelujah. God will give you a house. Amen. It is a covenant. It is a covenant of salt. A covenant of salt. This is the first time that the Lord will ask us to do such a thing. Because I was asking the Lord, why is it that we can't have houses? That we can't have apartment houses? Why is it that the uh, Vietnamese who don't speak English have more houses than we that speak English? And then I've, I've been bothering God. This year, we must have houses. Not only if you have a house, you must have apartment buildings. Say amen to that. Say amen to that. This year, we will make money. Hallelujah. Yes. Tell somebody you need money. Say you need money. It is, I'm not saying we, we worship money. I am just saying you need money. Amen? Amen? You need money. Money can solve a lot of issues. Money also brings you respect. Nobody listens to a poor man. Are you with me? But it is the spirit of God that makes us rich. Are you with me? But it is the Lord that will give you that. That is why we are doing the covenant of salt. When the, we are going to pray over salt. Amen? Amen? What is the covenant of salt? In the Old Testament, God uses salt. Salt as a blessing for his people. It is a covenant for it between him and his people. They put salt in offering so that it can be accepted. A, a sweet offering unto the Lord. And this year... The covenant of salt, you are going to pour the salt over the ground. Amen? Amen? For three days, you are going to be pouring salt over the ground. And as you pour salt over the ground, you are going to be laying claim to the ground of America for you and your descendant forever. Say amen to that. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Say I will own houses. Houses that I did not build. They will be mine. In the name of Jesus. I will give you the, uh, the, the scripture when we are able, ready to pray for it. I will give you the scripture for that. And we are going to use oil. Anointing oil. Once you get home today. Once you get home today. Today, 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 today. You will start with the covenant of the salt and the oil. When you get home for three days. You are going to anoint everything that you own and you are going to sell these things that you are anointing must multiply. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What you have right now must do what? Yeah. Must multiply. Amen. Please go into Genesis from the beginning of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. What did the Lord say there? In the beginning of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. We are all going to read it together. Okay, now let's read it from the sc screen. One, two, three, let's go. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth 
and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea, the bird of the air, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Hallelujah. Say, this year 2017, I will be fruitful. I will increase in number. I will fill this earth and subdue it. And I will rule over the fish, the fish of the sea, the bird of the air, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Do you see? God gave you power over three things. He gave you power over anything that moves in the sea. Amen. Say, I have power over the sea. Power over the sea. Over the hair. And everything that moves on the ground. So when you are using the salt and you are using the oil, you are anointing from today and you are saying, every power that is moving on the ground, that is moving in the hair, that is moving in the sea, my, the power of Jesus Christ that Jesus has given me to subdue, to rule over you. Can you please put it in the original text in King James? And the Lord has given, say, I have power. That means when you are declaring, remember what I said. Whatever you declare is what will happen to you. Hallelujah. Amen. This year, anything that moves on this earth, anything that moves in the hair, anything that moves under the sea, the Lord has given you dominion over them. Amen. Which means authority over them. So no power, no witchcraft power from the sea, no demonic power from the hair, Nothing coming from the ground because you are laying the foundation today for the next three days. They will not rule over you this year in Jesus' name. Are you with me? Are you getting what I am saying? When an attack comes, you remind Satan that beginning of the year, you have blessed the ground. And when you are blessing the ground and blessing all your property, you are going to say, unless this day, are you with me? Please pay attention to what the Holy Spirit is saying. When you are praying, if we pour oil, even on this carpet, can we bring it back again? Can we, can we, can we, can we go back to this same hour again? I want to, I want, the way you are praying this three days prayer is the most important prayer that you are going to pray this year. Are you with me? Because if you lay foundation of a house, if the foundation is not solid, what is going to happen to the house later? It's going to crack. Amen? These three days, for those who can fast, fast. Amen? But if you feel you cannot fast, that's fine. We are going to be here from Tuesday night till Sunday. Every night we are going to be here praying for those who want to solidify their foundation. If you cannot make it every night, even if it's one day, come and join us in prayer. Are you with me? But if not, if you are going to work all week, please, for three days, pray intense prayer to solidify the foundation of your life for this year. Are you with me? The Lord will help you. Right from the beginning, Write this scripture down, Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, that God has blessed me. God has said to me, I will be fruitful. So when you carry the oil and the salt, you are saying, I am commanding, according to the word of the Lord, to me and my family, that this cannot be reversed. Are you with me? This prayer cannot be reversed unless, unless, this day can come back to be. Are you with me? Unless the day you are praying this prayer can come back, unless the hour can come back, unless that minute can come back, can it come back? You are sealing that hour. You are sealing that prayer. And for your children that are in school, even make them to pray, even if they can't fast, that this year they will be number one. Amen. 
in everything, and so shall it be. Yeah. Amen? Whatever it is that the Lord has laid upon your heart as a business or something that the Lord wants to do for you, you are going to be saying, I said this year, I will be fruitful in this particular thing. Amen? Amen. If there is a sickness in your body, you are saying, you that sickness, you will not stay because I will be fruitful. This is what God commanded from the beginning of the world. And what I am saying, it is sealed. Are you with me? Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Look, let me say something to you. You see, Muslim people, Muslim people, Muslim people, for those who have been Muslim, when they sit down, they memorize Quran. They recite Quran. It is a war. If their children don't know Quran, what do they do? They beat them. You understand me? They beat them because they must know it. Because they recite it. When a Muslim recites, are, are people getting cold? Please turn on the heat. People are getting cold. Ah, I saw it. Okay. Okay. Amen. Look, I want you all to learn something. I was discussing this with one pastor this afternoon. I, am, I took time to carry this case to the Lord. Because, and the Lord has promised, he's going to raise many prosperous people this year. Amen. The only reason why you will not be prosperous is when you doubt and you don't get out of the boat. Because 12 disciples, they all know Jesus has power. Only one opened the mouth. If you are one of those 11 that decide to stay in the boat, good luck to you. But if you are like Peter, who is willing to take risk and get out, miracles will happen. Because if you try last year and you didn't succeed, then you must not do what you did last year. You must do something new this year. If there is any sickness in your body, if you said it's going to go, it's going to go. Hallelujah. Whatever you want to go, it will go. Whatever you want to happen, it will happen. But it's right here inside of you. No 20 million pastors can help you if you cannot help yourself. Yes. Are you with me what I am telling you today? Yes, you see Muslim people? A friend of mine who used to be a Christian and went to Muslim and married a Muslim and she became a Muslim. And I asked her, why on earth will you become a Christ, uh, leave Christianity and go and be a Muslim? He said, when I was a Christian, I was poor. But when I became a Muslim, I was rich. I said, why? I said, explain to me. He said, you see. He said, number one, the business prosper. But you see, you learn. Are you with me? He said, yes, Christians, they know how to pray but they don't know how to use the power that they have. Are you with me? He said she still used the Bible to pray, even though she's a Muslim. She still used the Bible to pray. Now, listen to me. You have power in your hand. If you don't have a Bible, get one. The devil is cheating us. The devil is stealing from us. The devil is robbing us. It's time to get out of the boat. Say, get out of the boat. Say, get out of the boat. Say, I am getting out of the boat. This year, I am getting out of the boat. Now, listen to me what they do. When a Muslim decide, 5 a.m., they wake up. They start Allah, whatever. When you are still snoring in your bed, they start controlling the morning. They start controlling the environment. They release the spirit of the Quran. Amen? They release the spirit that is backing Quran. And whatever they say, there is a spirit. That spirit will go and do what they ask it to do. There is a spirit backing the word of God. That is the Holy Spirit. If you release it, it will go and do what you ask it to do. A Muslim will recite the Quran. When you have a business next to them, they are there before you. They have already carried the water. They pray on the water. 
and sprinkle it on the ground, you will not sell. They will be the only one selling. Am I talking to somebody? I am, not, I am telling you today so that you can know what you have in your hand and use your weapon. Tell somebody, use your weapon. Say, use your weapon. Say, use your weapon. Use your weapon. The weapon that you have is more powerful than any weapon in this world. Am I talking to somebody? It is more acidic than, than the Quran. It is more powerful than the Shinto or the, or the Buddhism. Listen to me, please, brothers and sisters. If you go to Asia, you find very little Christian compared to the population. You go to Japan, they worship a different god. They have more idol than you can count, but they are prospering. Please pay attention. They are prospering. You go to China, they are prospering. They don't even know about Christianity. You go to India, they worship cow. They worship all types of idol, and they prosper. You go to a Chinese restaurant. When you enter, what do you see? Buddha. A Buddha. What do you see in front of that Buddha? Right. Food. <laughs> Food. They feed their God and their God work for them. Are you with me, please? Their God work for them. What about your God? Your God. We worship the God of heaven and earth. Yes. The one that made a fish to swallow Jonah. The one that made the fish to release Jonah. We worship the God that Elijah called for fire and fire came down. It is only our God that can send fire from heaven. We worship a God that you can send to your village. Those people troubling you and you will go and burn them down. The reason why things don't happen is we, do, we, we don't focus enough on what we have. And we don't, we doubt the way Peter doubt. Many Christians, they start, but in the middle, they sink. Amen? You will not sink this year. Amen. You will not sink this year. Amen. Many don't even know where their Bibles are. Many don't even have Bible. Many only came to church today because it's New Year. The Lord will change that for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't be a lukewarm Christian. If you are going to do this thing, do it so that you can be successful. Amen? Amen? Do it so that you can be successful. Look, when a Muslim recites the Quran, they rise up and they can go and kill anybody. Because the spirit of their God is in them. It's the spirit of your God can push you to the highest level. Hallelujah. If the spirit of your God is moving inside of you, he can promote you above everybody. Yes. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. This year, this year, this year, Amen. your record will be different. Amen. Your file will be different. Amen. You will, whatever it will take this year for you to be promoted, you are going to go to Jesus. Jesus is saying, come. Hallelujah. I said Jesus is telling you what? Yeah. He's telling you what? Yeah. He's telling you what? Yeah. No matter what the storm is around you, Jesus is telling you to do what? Yeah. Come and you are going to go. And you are not going to sink. And you are not going to go down. And you are going to focus. The word of the Lord is going to help you. The only thing that can help you is the Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get one. If you cannot afford one, we give you one. But this year, no matter what it takes, you are going to make it. Amen. This year, whatever difficulties that you have experienced in the past year, it is gone. This year, something inside of you is going to raise up. Amen. Blessing is going to come your way this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the three days that you are going to do, the word of the Lord, the Lord gave Israel houses they did not build. Then, yeah, they did not work for. Things that they did not even know existed, God gave it to them for free. 
God is still in the business of giving people blessing. Hallelujah. So for the three days, you have the salt, you have the oil. You are going to pray whatever, even look, you may be living in one room with 30 people. That does not determine who you are going to be tomorrow. Amen? Amen. No matter what, don't, when you look at your present condition, you cannot get to your place of elevation. Amen? Amen? Promotion starts before you climb the step. The miracle for Peter started from inside the boat because he made up his mind when the Lord said, come, he walked towards the Lord. The miracle have already started. When you, today from today, decide in your heart who you are going to be this year. Amen? Amen. That is why we said, that I am that you wrote. You are going to pray it until every line of it come true for you. It is not, it is you. It is who God said you are. You did not sit down here this morning. The fact that you left your house to come and be with the Lord today, it is a new beginning for you. Amen. It is a new beginning for you. Amen. There are people right now, they are in a club. They are going to drink themselves silly. That is how they want to start their own year. But you have decided you want to start your year in, with the Lord. And that Lord that you want to start the year with, he will not leave you nor forsake you. He will hold your right hand and he will go in front of you and you will be at your rear guard. This year, everything you want for your family, as you are anointing your house, you are anointing your children, you are anointing, nobody will be sick of, and the appointment with death, you will not die this year. Nobody will bury you. Those are the things that you are laying for the foundation of this year. Amen? I will not die. I will live to testify to the goodness of God. Everything that you want this year, for those, hallelujah, for those three days, you are going to declare it, you are going to seal it, as you are pouring the salt on the ground, all over the ground, you are claiming the blessing of this ground. You are saying, I will be fruitful in this land. In this land, I will be fruitful. Wherever my blessing is, north, south, east, and west, is mine. I'm calling them forth. In 2017, I'm calling them, come, come, come to me. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Are you with me? Everything that you anoint, your home, everything. If you have a car, you want another car, you say, Lord, change this car. It's not your business to know how God is going to do it. That is God's business. You do your business, let God do his own business. Hallelujah. Amen? Hallelujah. Are you with me this morning? Do you understand the three days? Amen? This is not just, oh, Lord, bless me. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. It is you pouring yourself. You are having a covenant. The Lord said is a covenant of salt. Is a covenant. God is a God keeping covenant. The covenant say forever, forever. Amen. Look, the grain of salt. And as you are pouring it on the ground, you are saying, unless somebody can find this grain of salt, where is that salt? The salt. The salt. Amen. Hallelujah. Look, I have salt in my hand. Amen? If I put this salt down here, now, can anybody count how many? Can anybody count how many salt are on this ground? Hallelujah. Nobody will be able to count your blessing. Are you with me? Nobody will be able to count unless anybody... Being power, being whatsoever, can go and remove those salt grain by grain and put them back. If they cannot count them to put them back, nobody will be able to count the blessing of God in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with me? You are making a covenant with the Lord. And you are saying, this ground, this ground, God has given you dominion over the ground. Guess what? You see that salt? Listen to me now. Listen to me, the covenant. You know, you pour the salt on the ground. Amen? Amen. The dominion of the ground is yours. Amen. You take authority over the ground. All the blessing, all the fruitfulness of this ground is mine. Guess what? When the rain falls, what happened to that salt? It goes inside the heart. That, your salt has already gone to where? 
under this earth. You understand? Into the sea. You understand? Because can you count where the, all the water that goes into the river? That same ground, that same salt you put on the ground has already gone into the sea. As it's going, as water is mixing with water and it's going, every blessing of yours that is under the sea, you claim it. Amen? Amen? And then, what happened? The water evaporates into the air. As the water evaporates into the air, all the blessings that are in the air is yours to possess. You claim it. Do everybody understand? Do you understand what I am saying? Is everybody getting it? If you don't get it, just raise up your hand so I will repeat it. Because this is very important. Amen? And as you pour the oil upon the ground, you are breaking every yoke. By the reason of anointing, yoke is broken. Amen? You are putting the oil, the mark of the Lord Jesus upon you, the mark of the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit fill you. Let it fill your whole household. Hallelujah. Is everybody getting it? Is everybody getting it? Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Now, we are going to do an offering unto the Lord. Amen? We will not be back here for Sunday service. This is our Sunday service. So if you want to pay your tithes, your tithes and offering, this is the first tithes and offering for the year unto the Lord. Amen? Amen. When you have it, we're going, to, we're going to pray. We're going to lift it up to the Lord. Just sing, let them ready when they are ready. You Offering go. time. Offering time. Can we please rise on our feet? No, no, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. We're going to pray. Amen? If everybody's ready, can we just rise up, please? Hallelujah. Can we lift her up to the Lord? The first offering of the year. And I just want you to pray that Lord, this year, I am using this as a point of contact. This year, I will not lose my job. Poverty will not be my portion. This year, everything I lay my hands upon shall increase and shall multiply. Come on, talk to the Lord. This year, I will not experience poverty.
pray. Come on, talk to the Lord. This year, no poverty, no shame, no disgrace. This year, financially, our doors shall be open. Blessings shall come our way. In the mighty name of Jesus. This year, this year, the Lord of multiplication shall multiply us. We shall be increased in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, God Almighty, you know each and every one of us. You know our financial condition as of January 1st, 2017. Father, we pray with this little that you have given us, we ask you, Almighty Father, that you multiply it and you increase it 10 million fold in the mighty name of Jesus. That this year, Lord, we will experience supernatural financial breakthrough. There shall be a wealth exchange in everybody's life. You will give us understanding and wisdom how to make wealth. That we will be a kingdom builder. This year, in areas where we are not expecting breakthrough, we will have breakthrough. Amen. Father, either our pocket is empty today or is full, we believe and we know because we ask in your name that by the end of 2017, we will be in a far, far better financial position than we are today. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just do the uh, tithe and offering everything together. Amen. Please lay it be at the altar, not at the bowl, because it's the first offering of the year for the Lord. Just give it to the Lord. This kind God, oh, I never see your kind. Oh. This kind God, blessed be your name. This kind God, this kind God, this kind God, I never see your kind God. Yeah, this kind God, blessed be your holy name. This kind God, this kind God, this kind God, I never see your kind God. Double, 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 double
and offering of your children father receive it from heaven in the name of jesus keep the vora away from everybody finances in jesus name please if you have the oil we still have some few more things to do we still have to share the first communion of the year and we want you to also go home so that you can call your family if you have the oil or the salt can you rise up if you don't have can you share? Can you share? We have disposable cups. Can we have disposable cups, please? Share. According to your faith. Amen. Amen. Can we share? Can we have the disposable cups, please? Uh -huh. Thank Look at the light. Like, it's like something. 